Hi. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello out there. Hi. Uh, and welcome to another interview with the Baby Boomer. Uh, as you know, I do interviews uh, kind of weekly. I try to get them out every Monday. And I interview um, Baby Boomers who are either getting ready to retire or who are looking to retire. And today with us, we have my good friend, Mary, and uh, she is 65 years old, and she has worked in the medical field for uh, quite a number of years. But Mary, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. If you can, uh, and just, I'll ask you some questions and just tell us the audience the what camera. you feel. Okay. Just talk to the camera. So my first question is, Mary, when did, you, when did you start your career in the medical field? I graduated from high school in 1967, but I always knew I wanted to be a nurse, always, 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 always. And I can remember as a youth walking around our parents' upstairs, second floor, with a clipboard and going from room to room, oh, interviewing cute. the patients, that's and I was cute. like five. <laughs> that's cute. I so I it. always did know I wanted to be a nurse. So I then went on to college after high school of 67 and did floor nursing for many, many years in Syracuse. Is that okay that I say Syracuse? Absolutely. Yes, Syracuse. And then six of us girls decided that we'd had enough of the snow. So we packed up our six cars and we drove to Miami. Oh my God, And that's we amazing. all got jobs at Mount Sinai Hospital on Miami Beach. And wow. did private duty for two or, no, three to four days a month. Okay. And then we party, party, party for the rest <laughs> As young of the girls do. We did. Good. We were all 21, 22. That's wonderful. And lived in Miami for many years. I ended up marrying a fellow from down there, and we were married 25 years. But in the interim, I did do about 10 years of real estate. But I always kept my nursing license oh, on. Oh, okay. And, um, and then just retired from nursing. Well, good. That's a wonderful story. Excellent. Uh, so now my next question is, so now that you are retired, what are you doing to keep your days filled up now that you're not working? Or I, are you still working? Do you work? Well, you? I retired January 4th and... Of 2015. Of 2015. Okay. But had some personal issues that I had to take care of in Miami because now I'm living in Vero Beach, Florida. Okay. So I was back and forth to Miami getting some things straightened around and then a friend of mine had shoulder surgery so I pretty much took care of her. But in April, I was pretty much on the retirement nice bandwagon um but they occasionally call me to fill in here and there so i still do that maybe two days a month okay but in the meantime i've taken up pickleball <laughs> pickleball pickleball. pickleball and nobody would heard of pickleball but you have to go on the internet and find out what that's okay. all about but i do that three days a week it's a form of tennis and okay. it's wonderful and the people are great and they're all pretty much retired but that's people. good because you keep yourself active keep myself active and when we all get together we discuss other things besides nursing oh shoot the battery no all out something <sighs> my arm Go around the table. Oh, sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Well, all right. Well, sorry about well that. Ends well. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. We had just a little technical little difficulty. Little technical thing. Yes. So <laughs> that was good, Mary. Was it? I am I done? No. no. Oh, I have oh, one oh. more question oh, for okay. you, Mary. Okay. <laughs> one more question. We had just a little slight uh, technical difficulty, yeah. but we're back now. Uh, now the very I got last class question. Clown. <laughs> <laughs> she got class clown. Yeah. As you could tell. Yeah. Uh, now. The money this that you have saved, biggie. this is the big question. Now, will the money that you have saved for your retirement, is it going to be enough to carry you through, say, God willing, you live to well into your 90s? It will. Because That's I did think of that, and it's interesting that when we were married, my mother-in-law, who was so, so smart, when they, people were starting to fund these... Um, IRAs years ago, probably 1978, mm -hmm. she had said right from the beginning, you and your husband should be investing in that every year. And we did every single year. And I think at that time it was 1500 and now it's up to 6,500, but I've that's never right. not funded that. That's wonderful. So and that's gone into fidelity and it's really done very well over the years. And, um, but I did think about all that before I retired that am I going to have enough to live into? Because my mother died at 101 and my father was God 92. God bless her. Oh my so, gosh. So, you know, we come from long, a long, long, long lives. life. That's wonderful. So. And that's and that's so true of many um, retirees because most people do not save enough for the retirement. Or they do think they have enough saved for the retirement, but actually 
compared to what you saved, say, 30, 40 years ago, is not the same as today because, you know, let's face it, uh, uh, inflation, inflation mm -hmm. you know, it just goes up and everything else stays the same. So thank you very much, You Mary. have to invest in the stock market, though. There you go. That's where your money grows. Listen okay. to Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mary, so much. You're I most welcome. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Thank you again for um, watching this interview. And listen, if you want to know more about how you can actually save for your retirement, other than a 401k or, or, stock, uh, market. or a stock market <laughs> or an IRA, just click the link below and uh, you'll um, uh, I'll take you to another place where you can actually see how uh, we earn extra income for our retirement funds. So thank you, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.